Sean, we're face down here, and we are with some of the members of the band Close Your Eyes. Uh, if you guys want to go around the uh, room and tell uh, you in the band. Uh, Brett? I'm Shane. Oh, I, I, yeah. I play guitar. He doesn't really do anything, he just says his name. I was worried about the person coming in here thinking this was a bathroom. <laughs> oh, I'm Shane, I sing. I'm Tim, I play drums. I'm Sonny, and I play bass. <laughs> Excellent. Now, your latest release, which was on Victory, We Will Overcome, is there a story behind this album? Uh, Shane, go for it. <coughs> um, I basically wrote uh, a bunch of songs, um, kind of from my own personal perspective. Um, uh, I, it's really interesting because the, the album in and of itself, like the songs, kind of span across pretty pretty wide amount of time. I mean, Song for the Broken is almost was almost four years old by the time we recorded it and put it on the album. Um, so I mean it, it spans a lot of time in my own life. Um, and uh, I just I was writing from the stance of like going through my own life and seeing all the struggles that I had and, and, and um, the struggles that kind of uh, that I was dealing with, you know, I I could look back and say, you know, I overcame those. Like I overcame those obstacles, and I'm here because of uh, because of those things. I'm I'm here today. You know, and I'm, I, am, I am who I am because of those things. So uh, that's kind of the story behind it. Now, how did it come about? You guys getting signed to Victory Records, and how does it feel to be a part of such a popular indie label like that? Um, well, we we actually were playing a festival in Arkansas called Self Destructing the Ozarks, and uh, we were playing the main stage right before MXPX on that festival, and so Victory saw the poster for that festival and just kind of was like, who's this band that has the worst look for MySpace in the world and it's not signed? <laughs> so they listened to us and they um, emailed us and had us come play a showcase in Chicago, and um, we had a contract within a few days after that. Now your uh, music video, Song for the Broken, who, who came up with the idea for that? Uh, that would be Dan Dovey. He's the... I produced the video. Um, he's out of LA. He does a whole bunch of he does a whole bunch of awesome stuff. He does some like P Diddy and a whole bunch of random stuff like that. And then like he's done like Set Your Goals and Paramore and there's a whole bunch of big stuff. Now your album cover for We Will Overcome. Uh, what are what are the three robots on the cover uh, stand for and who who designed that? Uh, well, oh, those robots. Those robots were not actually supposed to look like that. Uh, so, we got the artwork about two days before the album had to go to press. It was supposed to be in about a month before we actually got it, and the guys were just dragging their feet. Um, the robots were supposed to be a lot more lifelike, and not so cartoony, and have kind of like a darker look to them. Um, and it just kind of had, had to do with the way that like society is apathetic to a lot of things and how like um, passion and faith and like a lot of good character attributes we feel are dead in society um, and like people have become as Bob have become um, almost robotic and um, so that's what that's about okay and um you guys are labeled as a uh, Christian band. Now, how does it make you feel that you have not only Christian followers, but non-Christian followers as well? Um, I feel perfectly fine with that. Yeah. Like, we, we don't really even call ourselves a Christian band. We don't we don't publicize it because it's not it's not something that we want to gain fans on, or it's not we don't buy and sell our faith. It's just something that's personal to us. And, that, and, and at the end of the day, you know, you don't have to be a Christian to recognize that there are things in the world that are, that are going wrong and say that you can do something about it. Like, has has nothing to do with it, with a faith-based system. Um, I mean, people have morals. People are still human beings. You know, you can still see a person on the street corner that's hungry and still feel something with that. You know, you don't have to be a Christian to, to have that emotion, you know, pull from you. So, you know, and at the end of the day, I think that uh, hardcore, um, uh, you know, we can, we can sit around a table with kids that are Christians. We can sit around a table with people that aren't. And still, and still discuss things um, in a way that will bring about change in, in our communities. So. 
No, this is kind of a silly question. I tried to throw some silly ones in there just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Why did you close your eyes? Yeah, Brett. Uh, why okay. did Why did you? I was about to answer this question. Close your eyes. Um, for the record, for the record, Shane hated the name at first. I hate that name. He wanted to change it to Challenge Your Friends, which is a terrible idea. But um, that's a great name. I like Challenge Your Friends. I like Challenge Your Friends, I too. I don't like Close Your Eyes. I don't like either. Because, well, <laughs> the first time I, I really saw things. Close Your Eyes, Brett had this nasty, like, font that look, made us look like um, like we were trying to be under oath. And it was, like, red and two lions staring at each other. You guys remember that shirt? Yeah, yeah. dude, yeah. the rampants. Oh, God. That uh, shirt was awesome. That killed me. Every so time after all this naysaying, anyway, the reason for the name um, is better than any other band name reason ever. So, um, <laughs> no, it has to do with like it's just like a satire on society about how like a lot of people let like pop culture influence what their belief system is or the way that they act or what is acceptable for them to do, and um, it's kind of like just like closing your eyes to society and pop culture to find your identity and your reality. Um, and then, like, there's a secondary part of it as well, just um, how the spiritual world is just as real as the physical world that we're in. And um, sometimes you have to close your eyes to the physical world to really find yourself as well. And one more silly question. If you guys had 24 hours to live, how would you live your final hours? Man, I would skydive. Go fishing. I would do everything that would, like, well... Let me, let me, let me uh, ask a question. In this 24 hours, am I pretty much impervious to death? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Oh, dude, I would do anything. I would jump in front of trains. I would jump off buildings. I would do anything and everything that would kill me and not die. Jesse! And then, and then eventually die. You know? But uh, I, would, I, I would have hate it. I'd have hate right, it. Cool. I'll be yeah, so much fun. I'd probably ride my motorcycle really like, fast and then go to some sort of bags <laughs> and then chill out with my family. <laughs> I'd uh, honestly probably sit down with my fiance and watch every uh, one of my favorite episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's a good one. It's honesty. Now, is there any uh, news of a new album coming out anytime soon? Yeah, uh, the scheduled street date is October 25th. Um, we don't have a title for it yet. We will have one soon because we've got to start making promo posters for it. Um, we'll be recording in August with Brian McTurnan in Baltimore. Did like With Honor, Strike Anywhere, Converge, Darkest Hour. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, it's a good on that. So, and is there any interesting facts you'd like to share with your fans that no one else would know? Grew up on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> you and your farm. I'm from Canada. Yes, I'm not from Texas. Yeah, I'm, sort of from Texas. I'm from Michigan. I'm not from Texas. Uh, I am from Texas, and I love being from Texas. I don't really care if I'm from Texas or not. I don't care. Take your boots. I don't care. <laughs> Look at my boots. Everybody should have a pair of these. Shane, skinhead movement died in England. <laughs> <laughs> it actually did come out of England. It uh, came over across the pond. I don't know Just wannabe it. Englanders. <laughs> wannabe Englanders. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. And last but not least, uh, what does the future hold for you guys? Uh, we talked about the new album. Any more videos, tours, any side projects? What can your fans expect? Well, future probably holds me getting kicked by one of these boots later. <laughs> yep. Uh, we, you know, we're doing "Scream the Prayer" this summer uh, before uh, before the before the album drops, um, and. Uh, you know, after that, we don't really have any touring lined up. Side projects. Man, I wish we could start side projects. But we're so busy with with touring uh, with CYE that there's just no time. There's literally no time. And we, the longest we have been home in an, any given amount of time over the past year is a month. At a time, like, that's it. You know, so, I mean, like, we're pretty much, we've been on the road, like, nonstop. So, uh which is, I mean, it's it's great. I mean, if you, you know, if you're going to be in a band, this is kind of what you need to do. Uh, but it doesn't really leave time for for anything else. You know, I don't, you know, we don't get to start up any any projects or anything like that. So. All right. Well, 
Alright. Now, if you guys haven't checked out Close Your Eyes, definitely check them out. They're a kick-ass band on History Records, and FaceTime is out.